Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, has long captured the fascination of astronomers and stargazers alike. Visible to the naked eye, it has been a prominent feature in the night sky for centuries, its fiery hue standing out as one of the brightest stars. But in recent years, Betelgeuse has become the center of an intense scientific debate. This once steady beacon in the sky has undergone significant dimming, raising alarms across the scientific community. Could this be a sign that Betelgeuse is about to meet its fiery end in a supernova? And if so, what does that mean for life on Earth? For many years, Betelgeuse has been one of the most well-known and studied stars in our night sky. This massive red supergiant, located in the constellation Orion, stands out for its size and striking reddish-orange hue, which is characteristic of older stars nearing the end of their life. It's one of the brightest stars visible from Earth, making it a fixture for both casual stargazers and professional astronomers. As a part of the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse's position and brightness have been a significant part of human history, often used for navigation and storytelling. However, in recent years, scientists have noticed an unusual dimming of the star, prompting a flurry of interest and concern. While changes in star brightness are not unusual, the extent of this dimming, combined with the possible implications for the star's future, has raised questions about whether Betelgeuse is preparing for a supernova, an event that could have profound consequences for Earth. Could Betelgeuse's fate be a harbinger of a larger, more dramatic cosmic event? Scientists first began noticing Betelgeuse's dimming in late 2019. For months, the star appeared to lose its brilliance, leaving astronomers puzzled. This was unusual because stars like Betelgeuse, massive and ancient, are expected to go through periods of variability, but nothing of this magnitude. At first, some speculated that this dimming was merely part of the natural life cycle of a star. However, as time went on, other theories started to surface, each more alarming than the last. The dimming of Betelgeuse was first noted toward the end of 2019, when astronomers began observing a significant and prolonged decrease in the star's brightness. Unlike other dimming events that occur naturally in stars, especially massive ones like Betelgeuse, this one was unusually drastic and continued for an extended period. Typically, red supergiants like Betelgeuse undergo periodic fluctuations in brightness, a natural phenomenon that occurs as the star expands and contracts. However, the scale of this dimming event went beyond what had been previously observed, prompting astronomers to take a closer look. Early on, some scientists believed the dimming could be a temporary fluctuation in the star's life cycle, a normal phase in its evolution. But as months passed without any significant change, a growing sense of concern started to take hold. Could this dimming signal something more dramatic, like the star's impending death in a supernova explosion? As more data came in, new theories began to emerge, each more concerning than the last, leaving scientists wondering just how close Betelgeuse might be to its final moments. Some scientists speculated that Betelgeuse might be showing early signs of a supernova, an explosive death that occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity, releasing an enormous burst of energy. The timing of Betelgeuse's dimming was suspiciously close to when such an event might occur and the idea that this star could go supernova in the near future captured the imagination of the public. Could the night sky soon be lit by a cataclysmic explosion from one of the brightest stars in the sky? The idea that Betelgeuse's dimming could be a precursor to a supernova quickly gained traction among scientists and the public alike. A supernova is one of the most spectacular and violent events that can occur in a star's life cycle. It happens when a star, having exhausted its nuclear fuel, can no longer support itself against the force of gravity. The core collapses, triggering a massive explosion that releases an enormous amount of energy, briefly outshining an entire galaxy. Because Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant in the later stages of its life, it is considered a candidate for a supernova. The timing of the dimming, which began just a few years ago, aligns with the expected life cycle of a star like Betelgeuse, meaning it could be nearing the end of its life and preparing for a spectacular final act. This theory set the scientific community buzzing with excitement and concern. Could Betelgeuse's impending explosion light up the night sky in ways never before seen? Would this event be visible to the naked eye from Earth, 
and what would the consequences be if Beetlejuice did go supernova? In the years since the dimming began, Beetlejuice has regained some of its former brightness, though it still remains less active than before. This apparent recovery has led to speculation that the star might simply be transitioning to a quieter phase of its life, but the concerns remain. For scientists, this has raised critical questions about the possible outcome of Betelgeuse's life. Could it be on the brink of a supernova? And if so, what effect would that explosion have on Earth? Although Betelgeuse did experience a significant dimming, it has since regained some of its former brightness, which has somewhat alleviated immediate concerns. While the star is certainly not as bright as it once was, this partial recovery led some astronomers to speculate that Betelgeuse may simply be in a less active phase of its life. This idea suggests that the star might not be on the verge of a catastrophic explosion after all. However, despite this temporary recovery, Betelgeuse remains far from its previous levels of brightness, and the star's overall activity has decreased. The fact that it's not as active as before raises several important questions about the star's future. Is Betelgeuse undergoing a normal cooling phase as it prepares for its final moments? Or is it simply in a temporary lull before a larger event occurs? The possibility that Betelgeuse could still be heading toward a supernova means that astronomers are continuing to monitor the star closely. If Betelgeuse does explode as a supernova, what consequences might this have for Earth? Could its powerful radiation and energy emissions have an impact on our planet, even from such a vast distance? Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the largest and brightest stars in the night sky. Located about 724 light years away from Earth, it is part of the constellation Orion, easily recognizable by its position near the belt of three stars. This red supergiant is approximately 100,000 times more luminous than our Sun. And though it may seem a distant and harmless giant, its size and proximity to Earth make it one of the most studied stars in the sky. Betelgeuse, often referred to by astronomers as Alpha Orionis, is a massive red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation. It is one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye, with a size that dwarfs our own Sunday. In fact, if Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, its outer edges would extend past the orbit of Jupiter, making it an incredibly vast and powerful object. Despite its immense distance from Earth, roughly 724 light years, the star's sheer size and luminosity make it an important subject of study. Betelgeuse is around 100,000 times more luminous than the Sun, which places it among the brightest stars in the night sky. Its distinct red hue and the fact that it lies in the easily recognizable Orion constellation have made it a fixture of stargazing for centuries. For astronomers, Betelgeuse provides a valuable opportunity to study the life cycle of massive stars. But its proximity and size also raise concerns about what might happen if it were to explode, especially given the fact that such an explosion could release vast amounts of energy, potentially affecting Earth in ways that are still not entirely understood. However, this intense luminosity comes at a price. Betelgeuse is rapidly burning through its fuel, converting hydrogen into helium and emitting vast amounts of energy. This process has been going on for millions of years, but eventually, the star will run out of fuel. When that happens, Betelgeuse will no longer be able to support its own weight, and the star will collapse. What follows could be one of the most spectacular and destructive events in the universe. A supernova. While Betelgeuse's intense luminosity makes it one of the most impressive stars in the sky, it also means that the star is burning through its fuel at an accelerated rate. Stars like Betelgeuse's massive red supergiants burn their fuel much faster than smaller stars like our Sun, meaning that their lives are relatively short-lived in cosmic terms. Betelgeuse has been in this rapid fuel-burning phase for millions of years, and although the star has many more millions of years before it runs out of fuel, this time is quickly running out.